Huge shout out to Hut Park Traders for a fast and reliable service, but let's get into episode 7 of the Deacus Tree. Yo, what is going on guys? I'm bringing you episode number 7 of the Deacus Tree. We're starting out with our first donation, and I got a Varlamov, a Kyle Turris, and an O'Reilly, and I just want to give a huge shout out to, I'm not sure if he has a YouTube, but I want to give a huge shout out to, I'm going to spell it out, I don't want to mispronounce it, but Liverine and Nick, L-I-V-E-R, a N I Nick. He's on Twitter and I just want to give him a big shout out because I do really appreciate it. I mean, it is kind of hard to, I don't know, with this series going on. I mean, there's no rules or anything. And I mean, I haven't really been playing that much, so I really haven't been getting that many pucks or stuff like that. But just adding to the team and stuff like that, I do really appreciate it. So thank you very much, man. But we do move into our first game, just trying to get a few wins. I mean, recently we haven't been doing the greatest, so trying to get back on a good start. I believe last episode, or the episode before that, we did actually go like 11 and 0 or something for a while. But again, this episode, only three seconds left. We allow him to get a breakaway, and he's going to score most of the time. Anyone's going to score most of the time on a breakaway. He goes up 1 0, and then the early stages of the second period, he goes up 2 0, and that would be the end of that game. So another loss is on our belt. Not a very good loss. We're going up against a pretty good guy right here. He is a Vancouver fan. And by the way, I'm sorry if I sound sick, that is because I think I am sick, and by I think I am, I obviously am, but I did want to get out a video, it's been quite a while, especially people have been commenting saying, where's the Deacus Tree, so I'm really sorry, but I am sick, and yeah, as you can see right there, pretty good save by my goalie, an unreal save, but it bounces right back to him, and he scores, and with only two minutes left, Brian Boyle is just going to snipe it, his goalie's going to hit it backwards, and he's going to score a shorthanded goal to tie the game up with only two minutes left, that was a huge goal. We go all the way to overtime. Mike Camilleri to Getzlaff, who just completely misses, but Getzlaff picks up the puck, throws it to Camilleri, and Camilleri's going to roof it. And we finally win a game in overtime. And now, guys, we are going to open some packs. This is finally a live commentary. I'm not sure what I'm going to get, but these are the free packs. And, oh, we get a Joe Pavelski, a Jarrett Stoll, and I think... I, well, you can't sell him, which is not really good, but Jared Stoll would be pretty good. Oh, Keith Ballard, not too good. Ducks jersey. Again, this stuff is all right, but we can't do anything with it. We can't trade it or do anything like that. But Pavelski is probably going to make a spot on our team. But other than that, I think the rest are just going to be sent to my collection and stuff. And we'll take the 500 pucks, and we're going to move on to the next pack. Uh, Yeah, let's see. Come on, maybe a Datsuk. Probably not. We get a Allen and Shen, so... Think I thought we had both these guys, but we may not. But either way, I don't think we're gonna use either of them. 500 pucks again, so I guess can't really complain. It's basically free pucks since these packs are free. But again, we did also complete the Washington Capitals collection. Don't be sad. Donated me. Well, let me borrow Ovechkin and Backstrom and a few other players real quick to complete the collection. Uh, Wilson is he's not terrible, but I mean can't trade him, so he's not really gonna be helping our team. But he does, I guess, help our Nashville collection as well as the other players. Uh, we have a few more packs. I think the Capitals Collection gave you nine packs or eight packs, something like that. Uh, we get a George's Porter uh, five all, but again, can't sell it or anything like that, so not the greatest either. But I guess, again, you can't complain. But then I guess, again, last year you did get straight up puck, so that was pretty cool for completing collections, and this year you just get non-tradable stuff. Another Shen, so we obviously have him. Sabaka, we have him. Uh, some change teams, which are completely useless, especially since I don't use Red Wings or Boston well, at the moment anyway. We get a Crosby oh, or Zubris. I guess they're pretty similar players. Another change team that we probably won't be using. Another jersey that we probably won't be using, but that does help our collection, I guess. Other than that, I don't really think there's that much here. Uh, I mean, Pavelski, I guess even if we just get him and that's it, I guess I should be happy, but... Would be nice to get something. Oh, this is this is not a bad pack, I guess. Markov, Alfredson, Brodor. We already have Brodor, Alfredson, and Markov. I don't know if they'd make the team. Lindback's a pretty good goalie. Well, he was last year. I don't know about this year. Leg injury card, which could go for some, some bit, but we can't trade them, sadly. So we're going to quick sell the rest of this. And we also bought a gold premium jumbo before. We're going to open that, I guess, at the end. But we'll just finish up these Capitals packs real quick. So the second to last one, and we get... Brad Richards, which I'm not going to complain about. He's actually a pretty good player. But again, I don't know if he's going to make the team now anyway. But I guess we'll just throw him in our collection as well as a Colton Orr, which is pretty nice. A bunch of coaches that we can't sell. And we have already like 16 of them. I think we have like 10 or 11 coaches already in our actual collection. 
And yeah, I mean, Squin is a pretty good coach, but that no hands and he's like has minus. I, I don't really like that. But again, three skating, three shooting. That's pretty good. This is our last one, and a Huberto and a Downey. So, uh, not great, but not terrible. I think the Pavel. If we didn't get the Pavelski, this would be a terrible pack opening. Well, a terrible Capitals pack opening, but. Pavelski is a 30k player, 89 overall, really excited. And here we go, the big jumbo pack, come on. Kyle Turris, 87, we just got him before from the donation, but now we could actually sell this one. We could have sold the other one as well, but he's a pretty good player, I guess. Like that, by that I mean in real life he's a good player, but I mean, I don't know how good he is in the game, and I don't know if he'd fit anywhere on our team, especially at center. I think our center is definitely the, the best out of our forward position. I think we... Could use a bit better in the left wing and the right wing, but center-wise, we're pretty deep, especially getting Pavelski. But it looks like that is going to be it for the pack, so there you go, guys. Live commentary. Might try to bring more, especially when I'm not sick, but let's go. Okay, we are back, and we are going up against a guy who's 24 and 6, a Florida Panthers fan. So surprised that there's fans in the arena. But anyway, we're gonna quickly go up one nothing in this game, and apparently this guy was not having any of that. Five minutes into the game, not even five minutes, my first shot, like nothing even happened, and the kid just decided to quit. So I got the win. Luckily, this guy gets a breakaway. You can't allow those, and he does score. Winnipeg Jets fan scores. And then we get a pretty good shot there. He randomly throws that out with his goalie. And we're just going to keep the puck, throw it to Voracek. And Voracek's going to score to tie the game with 10 minutes left in the third period. So a pretty nice goal there to finally get us on the board. This game, we couldn't get anything going. Only five seconds left. I mean, we are playing pretty good defense and a terrible turnover right there. Very, very frustrating. And that would be obviously the game winner. We're not going to come back with two seconds left. Just very, very frustrating. This game, I was dominating this guy. And then he gets the W. Very, very frustrating. But we decided to open one pack with 17.5K. We're spending all pucks. I should be saving these, but I just keep spending pucks. Finally, a pack that lately, anyway, the past two or three episodes, we haven't been getting anything. But we got a Ryan McDonough who we did end up selling for 35K. So this pack, we doubled our pucks, maybe a bit more. So I'm happy about that. But we're also going to open the two quick free packs we get. I think from, I don't even remember, I think from the the what if, the special edition of the NHL 15. And we get Volchenkov and MacArthur. Also, I'm not sure, I thought you were supposed to get packs for pre-ordering the game, but apparently I didn't, so I, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing on the receipt, there's nothing anywhere, so I'm thinking each week I'm only going to get the two packs from the... I don't even remember what the edition's called. The Stanley... No, it's not even called the Stanley Cup Edition. Just the pack, the Ultimate Edition. I think it's called the Ultimate Edition. I'm not even sure. But we only get two packs a week. I thought we were supposed to get one or two a week from EA. I mean, from GameStop from pre-ordering. But apparently I didn't get any. So, not the greatest. But we do get 2K pack... 2K pucks right here for free. So, that is pretty cool. 
And that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.